Well, welcome to a Marshall Family Christmas. Now, I just want to put a disclaimer on the fact that Rowan is super excited by a bow he found on top of a box and scraps of paper. So everything he's getting at nine months old tomorrow is literally for our sake. I got some cool stuff that I thought would be cool to teach him and some other random stuff, but he does not care. If he can stick it in his mouth or stick his finger in it, or it he's crinkles. pretty excited or it like makes any kind of noise. So I can give him the wrapping tube and he'll go to town for ever. So whatever you have or don't have, I promise you, you care more than this one does or any other nine month old. Isn't that right? Okay, so let's see if he'll actually rip into these things, or we'll have to do most of it for him. Can I have it on? Thank you. Hey. Hey. Okay. Yeah, get the bow. Yeah, you know you want to. Okay, or just crinkle it. Can. What's this? What's this? Can. Get it. Get it. Are labeled by the way, so this isn't even his present. This uh, is the Harry Potter house. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. <gasps> yes! So, this is. This is the beginning of a Harry Potter village, because, you know, why not? And it's Hagrid's hut. You know, where else are you gonna start? Other than Go Hagrid. Possibly Hogwarts, but we'll we'll talk about that later. Okay, let's try this one. You got the bow again. Good job. Okay, you wanna, wanna rip it? No? Not exciting? It's like what is what's happening? Give it a second. He's like, he's like put that bow. What is it? What is it? It's a keepsake ornament! Again, super excited, but this is a as Cherry's baby ornament keepsake kit. It's pretty cool. Use his hands or his feet. Make some awesome little memories if he'll hold still long enough to not ball up his fist or anything else. So, it's pretty cool. <gasps> Look, it's got a bow on it. Stress balls. They're pretty cool. 
I don't know, he might or might not like those, or we might just give him a boat. Look at that, it all squirts. Yeah, pretty cool. Yes, yes, it does say there's a choking hazard, small parts for, you know, children. Not suitable for children under three years old. But if you watch your kid while they play with it, you're hopefully older than three years old, so it should be fine. Should be. You're the parent, you make choices. I just look at the choices my wife makes. Okay, let's see. Definitely obsessed with this one. Move those to the side. Oh, I think this is. Oh, uh, yeah, I think this is the one. I specifically got for Rowan, I was pretty excited about because we're in the process of trying to teach him ASL and he's pretty good at it. He's got milk and eat and more, mostly the food related signs. He's, he's got those down because he's a, he's a hungry hippo. But, but he recognizes mommy and daddy. Yeah, he recognizes things, but this is really, it's, it's really more for me. I thought it was cool. He won't care, but it's practice. Nonetheless, okay. So, if something like this matters to you, it's American made by Uncle Goose. They're sign language blocks, which I think blocks are super important anyways. Teaches babies a lot of good things like, you know, stacking things and watching things fall and you know, cause and effect or whatnot. But these are specifically made, and it's even got a made for you date on it, which I think is pretty cool. It's made in Michigan, made out of basswood. Yeah, but Uncle Goose language blocks. And yeah, got the actual sign on it, letters, and actually got a part where you can feel the letter. So it's more than just painted on. It's something that he can, he or she can stick their fingers in, feel it and everything. And it helps you go over, you know, the basic signs anytime you play with them. And it's a, you know, educational toy. Like I don't think so. You know. Uh oh. But these, these are pretty cool. 28 all natural Michigan basswood blocks. I'd really recommend those if you, you know, try to teach your kid ASL and you want to get them blocks, might as well get two for one and help each other out because, you know, it's pretty cool. It's really exciting. Do you remember how expensive out. it was? Um, I don't remember how expensive these were, but I'm going to put the links to all the things we have so far in the video below or in a comment below so you guys will be able to find these if it's something you're actually interested in. Um, let's see, what else? What else? This section has Ring's name on it, so let's. It's not our wrapping paper either. And it's not our wrapping paper. Complete surprise! We have no idea. Well, as you can see, he's super interested in that ball and does not care the fact that he has a bow on his head, so you can tell how much he's really into the whole Christmas thing at nine months old. I really don't think they light up. Oh, wait. The, oh, they do light up. I told you! Oh, my. They light up. They got... Those just I got, got it specifically because it lights up for him. They got significantly more exciting. I didn't think they light up. So, so I'm rolling this, opening this rolling size box. I'll see what's in here. It is closed, which is, which those of you who have a small child, you'll know how important it is to have large amounts of clothes. This one, Pizzasaurus. <gasps> and mind you, where did that come from? I have no idea. It had no name other than Rowan on it, so we'll have to figure that out. But uh, I wonder if that's from your mom or my parents. More dinosaurs. Cute. I love that. It's so cute. Mind you, we don't give Rowan pizza yet. I feel like he's a little young for that, but he definitely eats like he's a Pizzasaurus, so. 
I'll give it time. Um, well, we know this is. Oh. Well, we know this is for now. Okay. There is some stuff under here that's not wrapped. Yeah, oh, well, like, yeah. Like, there's more clothes over there. Okay, there. so to be fair, I know that this holiday is more for us than him. I wrapped the square things. And this is from a coworker for Rowan, so. What it is. Oh. Okay. It's from a coworker for Rowan, but this is pretty cool. I mean it's a It's a long jingle snake. It's it's a long jingle snake. Oh it's a rattlesnake! Yeah. Why do we say jingling? I don't know Don't because it means. And sense. welcome right. back to a Marshall family Christmas and a dad's march. So I'm very new at this, and due to some technical difficulties, I decided not to turn on the microphone. So Let's be honest, decide. I just forgot. So we're going to narrate the rest of this Christmas unboxing video of ours. So here we go. Well, I have no. Oh! I'm talking about the squeeze balls that we had ordered. They're actually pretty cool. As you can see, it lights up when it hits the ground. And Kids quality and durable large mesh squishy balls with e exclusive sewn mesh relative anxiety and calming. Relieve anxiety uh, and calming. Oh my God. Water beads and glitter. Colorful anti-stress squeeze ball. Grape ball <laughs> sensory toys. 12 pack gift set. Anyways. <laughs> As you can see, he's fascinated by these, and they're a really good way to um, get his attention and make him follow. See? Good for getting him out of all sorts of random places, and there it goes after the other one. You know. Uh, good exercise. And he picked up a spoon that was on the ground. Don't worry, the spoon is clean. It is his spoon. He just, he likes spoons. So that's our hide and slide that we got for him. It's really so, cool. It's got it's like a five piece play tent for kids and it's got a couple of tunnels and a space for a ball pit. Yeah, it's as you can see, we'll pull it all out and yeah, you show can you all the pieces. Tie the strings together and it's really cool. I was going to speed past this portion because who wants to see someone set up a thing, but with the amount of times I almost hit myself in the face. It was too it's, much fun. It's relatively enjoyable to watch. So if you're still with us and watching, I can't You can make see us trying to communicate square. and neither of us actually are able to accomplish much. No. No. Meanwhile Rowan is still trying to find the squish ball, which <laughs> it's actually underneath him. And instead he's focusing on the medicine ball of mine that's in the corner. You can see how excited he is by about all of the toys that are around him. Super, super excited. Again, as I said before, this holiday at nine months Man, old, struggle a year old, even a little bit later, it's, it's really for us. It has nothing to do with Rowan other than, you know, he's pretty excited about that spoon. He's, he's really going for it right now. Oh, but yeah, got it. oh, he did. He did. And now he's like, oh, wait, the parents are doing things. And I managed to make a square. So there's that. I'm capable of doing something, at least. So, and that that's... That piece has got a target with the sticky balls that... Yeah. He can, later, he can throw them. Yeah, out. Velcro balls that you can, you know, hit the target with, but again... There's a couple of, like, hoops on there for he you to play basketball or whatever. He doesn't care about that at all right now so and the hopefully balls are a little small he can fit the whole thing in his mouth yeah which isn't which isn't great so for future we'll update you guys if you want about how all that goes but if you see there's little straps on all of this where you can attach the tunnels and everything and you can make it to be this big like jungle gym tunnel thing so my idea behind this was just to fill the ball pit with lots of different sensory toys for him. And hopefully he would have like an overwhelming area to just learn and play. So I got three, four different kinds of balls to put in there. True. Yeah, you can see them all light up. Now, 
Caution, uh, everything says not for children under the age of three. The stress balls. The stress, well, a few of them do. So provided you are over the age of three and you're watching your child. Soft mini plastic play balls in there. Yeah, those are the just the round plastic too big for him to fit in his mouth so it's relatively safe and i think we found the other ones later but there's a light up spike rubber ball yes that i put in there too but right now i'm talking about the light up remote that we got him actually is goes from loud to really loud just in case you don't want to sleep or you just really like the sound of counting and things but it's got a lot of really cool things on it, a lot of different settings numbers shapes luckily the songs are really short so it's not like they go on forever sure the songs are short also but the real i i like the fact that it also lights up so it's got everything that he wants in a controller without turning off netflix because let's be honest everyone knows how important netflix or our is. xbox he loves the xbox or the xbox oh man Okay, so he's having fun in this ball pit at this point. He's, you know, hanging out. As you can see, it is too big for his mouth, so that's a definite plus. Those ones are safe for children under the age of three, I assume. This is, this is my opinion. Don't, don't believe me. Check Amazon. They know. Um, but yeah, he's got a bunch of things in there. A few of them light up. A few of them are just balls, and that is, like I said, his uh, leapfrog learning remote. It's pretty cool. He doesn't understand any of what's going on with it. Only thing he understands is, hey, it makes noise. I can put it in my mouth, and oh, look, there. that my wife so cleverly named is this you're welcome i i'm not even gonna oh bubby toddler musical instrument set I, I have no idea how to say it um like i said i'll put the link to everything in the comments so you guys can look it up for yourselves if you'd like um i'm not sponsored by anyone so this is literally just if you see something Funs. cool and you'd like to get it for your own kids, it I'll, just a little bit more helpful. So it's just, what is it? It's it's like 20 different little instruments. So you have little... 17 types, 23 piece rhythmic instruments. Yeah. So you have like little maracas. You have uh, a these xylophone, little tambourine. A tambourine. So all the a bells recorder. and things that are attached are attached with these little metal eye bolts and they're actually really solid on there. So he likes to put things in his mouth and I would normally, you know, bells and things small enough that he can fit in his mouth and swallow. That being said, I... Uh -huh, I found his jingle bells. Oh yeah, right. So these are great for attaching to a child that crawls quickly. And you need to find them by hearing them jingle around the house. Or if... Well, you put bells on cats and dog collars. Why not just put some bells on your kid? True. He likes them. And again, those are actually attached really well on the... Co on yeah, these are very durable toys. Yeah, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry. Xylophone. Harmonica. Harmonica. That's right. That's <laughs> that right instrument. Again, so needless to say... We have jingle snakes and harmonica xylophones. Now, mind you, looking at those bells, there's actual no little hammer inside of them. So it's just the shape of a bell on a wooden stick. That wiggles. That wiggles. It kind of makes a sound, but there's no, there's no jingle in those bells. Um, but looking at that, bunch of bells on it. Uh, he's like, about to get mad at me right, right here. Oh, this is when the wife decided 
she wanted to. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. That's we'll be back perfect. in a second. I got to shut that off because, well, we're restarting. <laughs> that's that's what we're doing right now. Um, let's see. That is... Oh, okay. So that is called Pound-A-Ball by Play Kids. It was a wonderful gift from my parents. Yeah. Shout pretty, out to Oma and Grandpa. Yeah, pretty much what this is is you see there's different colored balls and there's different colored holes on top and it comes with a little toy hammer. So what you do is apparently you put the specific color uh, ball in the specific color hole and then you use the hammer to knock it down and it goes to this little pound a ball yeah <laughs> you, you you pound a ball uh, yeah you get it but it goes down through this little obstacle course thing that the ball gets to roll in and that's that's pretty cool and i think i'm here, funnier than i am I'm here sorry. i am dragging my son back as he continues to crawl away he's, he's, he's oh yeah i had cakes in the oven he's pretty quick and right now, our, our son is signing that he's hungry. Cheerios! So we're off to get our son some Cheerios. He's right next to us as we're recording this. Because this is audio only. Because, again, I forgot to turn on the microphone. But, let's see. Wife is starting to pack up... Oh, yeah, Christmas ornaments that fell. Because... We have cats, and everyone knows how cats and ornaments go. So now I'm opening that. I have no idea. Oh, actually. Run away, baby. Oh, yeah, there goes the baby again. There it goes. Oh, here, here, as I drag him <laughs> back slowly. Got him. Got him by the foot. Somebody's going to call this child okay. abuse. I pr- That's, there's, it's sliding a baby on a wood. Oh, I know. A, okay, I just anyways. Think that there's crazy people out there. So, moving on. That actually is a Japanese candy box that my in-laws got for me. It's pretty awesome. I'm a huge fan of Japanese candy and cartoons and whatnot. I'm a big kid myself. But, you know, who doesn't... If you've seen Harry Potter and Birdie Bot's Every Flavored Beans, you know that every time... You might get soap or you might get cherries you never know well in japanese candy boxes you might get squid you might get fish you might get something sweet you're not really sure they all look the same well uh, first off they're in a lot of them are just in japanese so you're not entirely positive true what you might be getting and if you never knew you wanted a fish flavored candy well you probably still don't but it's in there and it's an adventure trying it oh yeah always fun uh, now those are just fuzzy socks, and she's. I love fuzzy socks. Obviously excited about the fuzzy socks. I'm wearing and them right now. Back to Rowan and the bow. He had no interest whatsoever in ripping off any of this delicately wrapped Christmas paper, if I might say so myself. But so yeah, you know, we did it for him. Now that snow cones is a snow cone maker, and. We Uh-oh. live in Arizona, and our son has never oh, had very snow cones. So, don't worry, I'll be uploading the video of his first, most likely brain freeze, because he's going to have no idea what's going on with this flavored ice. I'm just going to give him a giant bowl of shaved ice and see and what he does with it. As you can see, Rowan is so interested in all of our toys that he keeps just trying to escape <laughs> away from everything that's going on. And, oh, wait, wait, there still is another one. I was about to cut this short. I have no, no idea. Oh, baby, it's this one. What's in this box? Oh, okay. So, what's in that box is... Well, don't ruin the surprise. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna wait so you can watch... Unwrap the gift with Watch us. me unwrap this gift. Well, that is the whole point of this. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, so, what you're now starting to look at is motor and senses seven one got, activity seven cube. in one activity cube by top bright um it really is exactly what it says there's seven 
in one activity. So there's actually two pieces, so I'm not sure why it doesn't say seven and two, but I don't make the branding. So that's not my... Even on the box, it shows they have cute blocks to it. Okay, so we ordered this. No, we and... didn't. My parents sent it. Okay, so her parents ordered this, <laughs> and it shows on here that there are supposed to be blocks that go, because you can see there are... Well, at some point in time, you'll You're see. holding the cubes. Yeah, okay. So there's a square, triangle, and circular hole on the side of it. And inside the box, there was neither a square, circle, or triangle block. So they're just holes. So that's cool. But it's two pieces. It's pretty easy. The top sits on it. You can put it on either side. There's a groove. Pretty simple. It's wooden. It's... uh. It's really hard to hard Minimal to fail. Minimal assembly required. Minimal assembly required. If you can set one object on top of another, you're you're already there. You You've got ahead. everything you need. Um, but yeah, it's wooden, and it's uh, I mean it's what is it rated for? Twelve months plus. He's nine months tomorrow. It's pretty much the same thing. And back to the jingle snake. Thank you for that one. You're love. welcome. Um, always here with it. But that's Weird, a... Weirdly appropriate you know, names. That's a Marshall family Christmas for you. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. You know, like, share if you want, subscribe. Anything helps. But uh, yeah, we're just doing this to show the things we got. Some things your kids might like or might not like. But like I said, the moral of the story is give them a bow, some paper they can rip, you know, plastic ball that they can... They're much more interested no. in a brown Amazon box filled with scraps of paper than Ooh, they are or with actual toys. Yeah, that's true. Unless they're light-up balls, a remote, or... Or the <laughs> wheel on my computer chair. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, guys. Bye. <laughs>